Stitchers, it's Becky the Obsessed Stitcher back finally with an update. It is Sunday, May 7th, and it has been a long time, two months since I've done a video. And you may remember I went on a stitching retreat to the Fancy Works uh, retreat in Indiana at the end of March to the uh, first couple days in April had a great time and at the end of my video I'll insert some pictures but uh, my friend uh, Terry and I traveled there I've always been fortunate knock on wood that I've not ever had any travel issues so we got there easily and the husband of the shop owner came and picked us up at the airport had a little fancy work sign so, you know, he took us right to the retreat, and it was about an hour away, so that was just amazing that they did that. And um, we spent Wednesday night there before the retreat started, and uh, so we got there late Wednesday, got up, had breakfast, went into the dining hall, and um, the shop owner was there with some other travelers that had flown in a little early. So I got to meet uh, Norma and Ruth from New York that morning, and Mary from Detroit was there also. I think that was it at our table. Oh gosh, it's been so long now, but it was just fantastic. We just, you know quickly gathered, identified each other in this dining hall restaurant as stitchers and sat together and started chatting and just had the best time. Then when the retreat started, we went and grabbed a table. And so at my table, there were six of us. So there was myself and Terry and then Mary from Detroit and Angie from Illinois and Ruth and Norma from New York and so it was so fun we got to sit together the whole time and I went I tried to go to every table just to see what people were working on and it was it was just so fun I really didn't get much stitching done at all of course we had the classes with Lana and those were really fun and I even though I had done one of her techniques um, on the flat fold with the little easel um, on my chicken I still learned new stuff as I feel we always do if we just put ourselves out there you know you're always gonna learn something new even if you think you know it you'll pick up some little tip or trick and I definitely picked up more than a tip or trick it was just wonderful uh, spending time with Vana she really didn't get any stitching done that whole time she was teaching four classes and you know it's, it's just busy you visit and you talk to people and we were taken to the shop a couple times which was not too far away then we went out to dinner once with some of the ladies so it was just fun it, I knew I had been told if I ever had the opportunity to go to a retreat to do it and so I'm so glad I went I had the best time and met some of the nicest people and and the shop was so generous oh my gosh we got so much stuff I don't know if you've seen Dina half stitch cross stitch I saw Dina and Janet and uh, I met Jessica and just you know I'm sure I'm leaving people out and oh Suzanne I met Suzanne from Los Angeles um, it was just fabulous anyway it was fabulous if you have the opportunity go I know I've been hearing about retreats all over the place so you know this is not a dying art a dying craft people are still doing it and it's you know do it if you can it, it's really fun um, anyway I was saying the shop was super generous with us not only did they give us money to shop with they every time we turned around there was something on our chair at the table or gift goodies or giving away um, things you know at a raffle type of thing so I've got a bag full of stuff I'm just gonna show you some things that I uh, really was happy to get we did get some things that um, you know weren't my style but 
you know, it, they were just over generous and they had said that um, they had reached out to designers and different companies to get, uh, see if they wanted to contribute to the retreat and they had an a enormous response and so they shared all of that with us. So anyway, I'm going to get down to it here. I'm going to show you my finishes from the class. So I don't know if you remember this little uh, stitch, but this is the finished object. We made the, the um, cording with uh, Vana instructing us. <laughs> she, uh, she's a good instructor. I was not the best student. It took me a few tries <laughs> in trying to help make some. Uh, but anyway, this turned out super cute and we laced the back of this and that was the thing that was different from uh, the tutorial that she did that I followed. It di we didn't lace it, but this we laced and I really liked lacing. I felt like you could uh, get it on there and still make some adjustments, but it's, you know, she stretched across there and um, I really liked that. So anyway, that was from the class and she had everything all cut, all the fabric, the boards inside, and there's foam in there, uh, fleece in there. She had it all prepared so it was really, really um, fantastic uh, how she set it up. So that was one and then here's my um, grand old flag. It is a easel and probably need to trim that but what I totally love is those little X's she had us do before we stretched it around and she brought all this fabric again all cut and everything so it was really easy but look at those little stars she had us put on just so coordinate and I never would have thought to do that or it's not stars they're just cross stitches <laughs> just up the side there so cute so that was so much fun. I just loved it. And then um, I'll show you some of my haul that I got, but I want to show you a finish I have and then my work's in progress uh, before I go to haul because it's going to probably take a while. <laughs> anyway, I finished my Saturday morning Christmas stitching, my DMC Snowflake Sampler, or I think that's what it was called anyway so that I was happy to get that done I think I'll make it into a little pillow to put on display somehow at Christmas but I was happy to get that done and then I my started a new Christmas um, Saturday morning Christmas stitch that I've almost got done I don't think I'm going to put the uh, phrase on there that the designer had. I'm trying to find the finished picture. Come on. Um, but I love the snowman. Okay, I'm going to have to... The pattern is on the same page. Let me... Okay, there it is. So it's Winter Bluster is what I'm doing. This one right here. But I don't think I want to put um, Winter Bluster. I think I might just put the uh, date at the bottom. So here's where I am. I've almost got all the back stitching done. Still have to back stitch his arm and put the snowflakes in. But I think I might just put the date down on the bottom and make it into an ornament. Maybe to give to someone this Christmas. So that's work in progress. And I'll save that one. And then I worked on my bird of the month. Here's what it will look like when it's finished. And this is where I am at. Got a little bit farther done. Wasn't quite that far last time I filmed. Haven't gotten a lot of attention. And if you're OCD and you don't like hanging threads, I'm probably going to make you crazy because I got a lot of threads. Very messy. Okay. Um, and my And a Forest Brew. 
has grown a little bit. I haven't worked on it too much, but that's what it will look like when I finish it. And I've gotten a little farther. I... Oh, I'll just hold it back. There you go. Oh, there's no thread. Oh, that one's not even connected. <laughs> Okay, so that's where I'm at on mine, and a forest grew. So funny, this bird down here, and the babies, I could not see that when I was stitching it. I'm just stitching away, and as I get, when I got done, I realized, you know, when you're looking at the pattern, it's just black and white, and you don't really see what it is. You're just stitching away, but that it was mom bird feeding her baby birds. So cute. Oh, and I have to tell you, oh my gosh, the highlight, one of the highlights <laughs> of my retreat um, was, and I keep telling people this, you know, I lead this ex exciting life, you know, what do I do constantly? Cross stitch, you know, crochet, knit, exciting person. <laughs> so on top of my exciting vacation, cross stitching, you know, telling my coworkers about it who, you know, they just don't even grasp the concept but I saw my first real cardinal and chickadee at the retreat was at a state park in Indiana and it was at this beautiful lodge and I I ha I'll have some pictures and I'll maybe put in some captions I won't put, try to bore you to death but um, anyway uh, one of the ladies I met Jessica she and Terry and I drove at another place in that same park where they had a nature center and they had this outlook um, where they had a bunch of bird feeders and so you saw cardinals and chickadees and woodpeckers but in this part of the country we do not have cardinals we have blue jays but even where I live you don't see blue jays but if you go um, to nearby sort of nearby forest you can see them but anyway um, I just was thrilled to see a real life cardinal and at the um, at the lodge where you could eat they had big picture windows and they had bird feeders hanging down so we saw them there too so that was exciting and speaking of cardinals so I have um, I'm not gonna take this off the frame and I have threads hanging everywhere but I think I'm gonna work on this till it's done because I feel like I'm pretty close but my cardinals on a sled. Here, let me try to. There's. Saw a lot of male cardinals. So anyway, I had this top done, and also I um, got two, two roll of frame. Well, one roll of frame, one set of bars, and two different set of rods at the retreat. They had the shop had set up a store. And so I wanted to try them, and, and I do like them. I, they're a nice light frame, so my cardinal's on a sled. So I think I'm going to work on that till I'm finished. So what I have done since the last time you saw it, and excuse my, I've got a piece of fabric sewn on because it's a DMC kit, um, so there's not much excess. So anyway, I have worked. Um, I've kind of, I was working in diagonals across here. Now I'm kind of going up because this is the end and in the diagonal to um, just kind of because there's not much up there. So I'm trying to get it done. I think I'm going to concentrate on this until I get it done. So I'm sure, you know, I'll get my aisle, catch something and I'll start something new or go back to one of my other projects. But I feel like I'm getting pretty darn close. So that's where I'm at on these super cute cardinals. Ah, there they are. So cute. Anyway, so that was a total highlight. I loved seeing those birds in real life. And then I was... I'm sure this, I didn't have this at my last video, but I had it before the retreat. So sometime in March, I had um, contact, or I had just seen Lori at Mischievous Stitcher, her YouTube channel, uh, work on this piece. And I just said how beautiful it was. And then I paused her video and tried to find it, to buy it. And you, it's not even for sale. 
any place that I could find. Um, so I had just told her I would, you know, enjoy watching her finish hers and, you know, that's how I will be able to enjoy it because you can't get it. And she was so sweet. She said she would lend me the pattern. So once she finished hers, and if you've seen her videos, which I will link her channel down below, she is so sweet. She, um, sent it to me to use. So I have in my possession, this is just a copy, the Tapestry Sampler by Pat Rogers. And um, you have to go check out Lori's because she has gotten it framed and it's just gorgeous. So I am working this on a piece of fabric that I coffee, tea, dyed and baked and basted. Uh, it's a Bonna has a tutorial on her blog. So I did that and I just love, love, love how it turned out. So this is my uh, progress on this piece. I kind of started in the middle at the top. But I am loving it. And I, you know, it's a new start. It's not in my year of whips, but I did spend some time with it and just love the colors, love how it's looking on the um, fabric. But look at that <laughs> modeling. I, God, I just love how it turned out. I got this ginormous chicken <laughs> needle minder at the retreat. I just thought it was really cute. And he's, pretty blingy. So that's fine. And then this is uh, from Delicious Threads. Janet Delicious, Delicious Threads uh, has these needle minders. And then this is a little needle minder we got from the shop at the retreat. That's Fancy Works little uh, symbol that they have on everything. So anyway, I did take this to the retreat. Didn't work. I worked on it a little bit, but you know, we just didn't get much stitching done. I had brought three things. I brought this that it was shared um, from Lori, and then I brought uh, this next one I'm going to show you that Terry, my friend, had gotten me in Ireland a kit. So I thought I would bring pieces that had been gifted or shared with me, and then another one that I didn't even start. So these are the only two I worked on, <laughs> um, and the finishing, but was. Uh, Dina from Half Stitch Cross Stitch gave me her kitty love pattern and I was going to start that and I didn't even get to it and I haven't started it yet but I I will someday but um, so it was, that was kind of an interesting outcome of the retreat. Not much stitching done. Probably not a surprise to a lot of people, but I, I was hoping to get more done. So this is one I think I might have shown you before Terry uh, got this in Ireland. It was from a shop that they created this uh, pattern and kit. It's a little um, uh, primroses. I always forget it. Primroses. So anyway, so I brought that to the retreat. I did start it. I don't have too much done. Um, so that's where I've gotten on that. And again, I've sewn a piece of fabric to it because it's a kit piece and I just used the Ada that was in there. And then this um, is from Jen at Delicious Threads, another uh, get together we had. Last weekend, I invited the ladies from East Bay that, um, that are more and are, that are nearer to the needle in the haystack are LNS and Alameda that I've met and we've met up over there. So I invited them over to my side of the bay and um, my boss was kind enough to say I could use our conference room at my office or our office. And so they came over. So um, Jen from Delicious Threads, Helga from, she lives nearby, uh, Michelle, she's a Instagram uh, follow or she has an Instagram channel. She doesn't have a floss tube channel. And then my friend Terry, and I'm forgetting someone. <laughs> I'm forgetting someone because we were there, but then we also had a video um, participation. So Dina half stitch cross stitch, Jessica that I met at the retreat, and then Vanna. Uh, we all connected through Facebook Messenger <laughs> video, whatever it's called. Uh, there was not the smoothest in technical abilities, but we finally all got on the same page, so it was fun. So we had um, 
Jen and Michelle and myself and Terry and Helga, I feel like there was a, someone else sitting there. My gosh, if it, <laughs> there was, I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, so we had, you know, all of us sitting there stitching. And um, so Jen was so kind and brought some needle minder goodies for us. So this, uh, she gave us each our pick of a needle minder. I just thought that was so cute. I am a gum chewer, but I try, I try not to chew gum because I, I just go on and I just, it's one after another. So it's kind of a bad habit of mine that I try to break, but I thought that was so cute. So cute. So anyway, I worked on this last weekend too. But anyway, so that was fun to get together with them. I'm going to do that again. It was so nice of them all to come all that way to hang out and stitch. And then I've been enabled to uh, try some Hardanger. If you've seen Nina Stitching with a Smile on YouTube, she's a cross-stitcher, but she's also um, uh, she does Hardanger and she's doing, she's done tutorials and now she's doing a Hardanger along a how that I'm um, trying my hand at. It's, I haven't got a lot done here, but I do feel like it's much faster. Now I've lost the pattern. Okay, well, you'll just have to take my word for it. I do not, oh, that might be it. That's it. Okay. So this is the pattern that we're doing, and I will link uh, her channel too. Um, and she, it's she's simplified it step by step. I mean that looks overwhelming, but so far, and I've got another cute needle minder from Jen, Delicious Threads. So there's my uh, progress my new whip on my hard danger. So it's been fun. It's been fun. Quick results, but I, it's, you gotta pay attention. <laughs> you got to pay attention. So anyway, that is all my, those are all my works in progress. I'm going to, I'm going to start showing you some haul. So, uh, Jessica at the retreat um, had, she used to have a quilt shop in, she lives in Indiana somewhere, close enough to drive to the retreat, but not right um, in, in a nearby town. Anyway, she had a, a quilting shop and she had a lot of cute little things for sale there. So. I bought this cute little um, uh, zipper pouch. I've got something in here that's stopping it. Um, from her, I thought was so cute. There's her. Uh, what's my, yeah, yeah. Anyway, her, her shop is Ginger Threads. But, uh, so that was a little goodie I got at the, at the uh, retreat. And then this was a needle, and I think, was it Vonna that talked about these needles in her latest video, that I guess they're just amazing. I haven't um, cracked mine open yet, but, and I, I couldn't even tell you what they were, but anyway, that's one of the things we got, or were given us at the retreat. And something I just bought off of Amazon was this micro stitch. I haven't even opened it yet, but um, I know um, the crafty curator has shown us how to use it, and I was pretty intrigued. And I know some other Instagram or Instagram <laughs> lost tubers have gotten it too. So instead of pinning your piece to foam core, you can use this. So I'm going to give that a try the next time I frame. Now this is haul I got at the retreat and you know, it's so ridiculous. I didn't need to buy a thing. We were given so much stuff, but I wanted to support the shop. So I, I did. <laughs> uh, 
so these I thought were so pretty. Um, and I think Maddie, one of our Instagram local friends, is doing these. But these fragments in time. So I got that one. This was on a shopping trip to the shop. And then they also, like I said, had a um, shop at the retreat. They had a couple tables all laid out. And there were designers, too. And so I did take advantage of... Um, they had finishes there and the patterns from those designers. So, uh, Mani Di Donna, I'm probably saying that wrong, but this, you know, the picture doesn't do it justice. They had it finished there, and you actually get the little wooden handle. So, I got that this one, and then I thought these were so cute. I'm not usually a button person, and again, these pictures are not, and I hope I can show you without the glare, um, and I've got the rest of them on order. I'll have to check in and see, but they're these little, um, a year with scarecrows. <laughs> I just thought they were so cute. Okay, there, you can kind of see them. So that one has, each one has two months in it, January, February. March and April, and you get the buttons with it too. Sorry, the glare. Ah, oh, there you go. May and June, so cute. And then from that same designer, I got these little bird houses. And they came. Each one came with one button. Very cute. So if I start those, they will be quick to finish. There's not a whole lot of stitching there. And that button there. Like I said, I just wanted to support them, and so I just bought one of everything. <laughs> and then that one. You can see the so they each have a name. And then when I was at the shop, I thought these, this was cute. They had a little frog on it with, or it had two frogs, little boots. I thought those were cute, a little Mill Hill kit. So if you have any questions about anything I show you, just leave me a message and I'll uh, give you any details you need. And I thought this one was so pretty, this Christmas village. open all these up. They have a heck of a time getting them back. And then I got um, these. I just loved this one. It's a Janet, Jeanette Douglas design. Uh, Vintage Birds. I think that's beautiful. Look at that peacock. Picked that up at the shop, and then this one, the winter is past, I thought was beautiful too. You can see that on a piece of coffee tea baked and basted fabric. I love that fabric. <laughs> and I think that's, I don't even know what that fabric is that I did it on. It's 18 count something. It might be from Michael's or Joanne's. I don't know. It's, but it's, uh, just turned out gorgeous. And then, so I think that's all that I bought there. And then I had ordered, um, I got the free pattern of the month from Stony Creek, which I have not, I did not start the next free one. Because I told you that one night I was in bed on the last day of February, I had to get up out of bed to buy my February get my February freebie. Well, the same thing happened in March. I was at the retreat on the last day of the month, and I hadn't got my free one, so I got up early anyway, but I was sitting in the little community room they had there on with my iPad, <laughs> getting my free one. I, you know, 
six in the morning. Ugh, so I did not start the next. It's a Halloween one from Stony Creek. I did not start that. Keep me from buying other stuff just to justify. So, but I did get these. I saw these on Instagram and I don't, um, I want to say it's kind of a local gal, Sue's somebody. I, I don't know, but I did these pictures again, don't do it justice, but they're so cute. They are, uh, floral postcards from the, from the heart needle art work by Wendy, but they're really cute. So I got these from Stony Creek. That's February, March, they're just super cute. Or no, January, February, and March. Those are cute. And then Stony Creek's, I'm not even going to open this up, but their latest magazine. Do you not just love this cover? So cute. So cute. And then my, a lot of you have talked about your Joann's is look like they're discontinuing the, um, their cross stitch section and mine has totally revamped it. We used to have a lot of books, but they're discontinuing or they've taken them all off the shelf and put them on their clearance rack and, um, but they, it looks like the, on my, in mine, they've, brought in a lot of embroidery stuff so at least I'm not totally getting rid of that <clears throat> type of needlework but I did get this uh, book on the clearance I thought that was pretty neat words to stitch by so I'll give you a little flip through This was the one that got me <laughs> because nice matters. I thought that was cute, simple, and that would be appropriate in any environment. Uh, oh, this one. This is a, a good morning, merry sunshine. Look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> So cute. I thought that was cute too. And then I also got this neat um, embroidery book, bead embroidery. Um, look at those little motifs with just a little bit of beads on them. Look at that dessert cart. I thought that was cute. And it gives you step by step instructions. So. Oh, look at the little people. I don't want to give anything away here. But anyway, so I got that. And then at the retreat, 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 retreat. At the retreat, we also had a gift exchange. A gift exchange, and we bought, you know, there were some certain requirements to bring if you're going to participate. Not everybody participated, and we all uh, drew a number out of a hat, and all the things people had brought were in bags or wrapped up or, you know, somehow hidden away. And then we went, you know, one through 35, 40, however many there were, and just picked it up, you know, totally random. You just didn't know what you were going to get. But um, these, uh, these are two. There were some other little goodies in the package, but these are the two that um, were in mine. And it's one more stitch and my evening uh, phrase. Ready to go to bed, dear? Oh, one more stitch. <laughs> and then also the threads. Isn't that nice? And then, actually, I can't show you this because it's it's called Friends House and it's got two, two houses, different houses here. I'll hold it back here. There you go. You see? Okay, so it, it's meant to be one color, and the thread, she uh, provided threads also. Look at these beautiful blue threads. What are they? They are simply shaker sampler threads. Oh, the gentle art 
I don't know. Don't know my threads, <laughs> not DMC, but look at those. Oh, those are showing up better than true to color. <laughs> They're kind of light in the go with my shirt. Look at that. So those are really pretty. So again, here's here's what I'm gonna stitch with. <laughs> anyway. So that those are just beautiful threads. I don't are they silk? It's called freedom. I can't see because I've got fuzz in my mouth. Anyway. So that was, I enjoyed that. I, you know, obviously participated. I had made um, a project bag, which I'll show you the project bag I got from the master herself. Vanna was kind enough to give me a project bag. But I had made a project bag and... Um, then put some goodies in it, some scissors I like, the needles I like. Um, I, I put a, oh, the five seasons of quilt, that booklet in there. I don't have that, but I keep giving it away. That's the second time I've given it away, you know, bought it for a gift. Um, anyway, so I put that in my, uh, project bag and then I also I made two and I gave Vana one of my project bags uh, made from her tutorial so uh, her, the one I gave her wasn't as nice as the one she gave me it's just beautiful so um, anyway I was grateful for that she was very generous so now some of the goodies we got at the retreat one of them was this bag I know Dina showed a lot of stuff and so I tried to go through my stuff and so I wouldn't to totally be duplicate, but it's been so long, Dina made her video right away. Inch Dina. Anyway, so if anybody wanted to see about the retreat, you could watch Dina. So now, you know, a month later, you can hear my version. Anyway, so this is one of the things we got. I actually have a little project in here. I started, I thought, well, this would be good to take in the car. I'm not quite organized, but I have, um, and I don't have it with me. But it's a little um, Santa Claus roly-poly, almost the round on the bottom. Anyway, I'm going to make it into a Christmas ornament. And after Jen at Delicious Threads, Jen, I forgot to talk to you about this, as you're, you had done that plastic canvas ornament and said you really liked it. So I thought, oh, I'll have to try that out. So I got some plastic canvas at our local thrift store for crafts. Um, and so anyway, so I've been keeping that in there, but it's got all kinds of pockets, zipper outside, inside. I mean, it could carry a bunch of stuff. So anyway, that was a freebie gift from the, uh, well, whoever made it. There's not even a tag on there, so I don't know what company it's by even. Um, and then one of the things that I thought was kind of fun was, again, these were just random gifts we got, but this was all rolled up. This different types of linen and Ada, different colors, uh, and then they're all labeled though, so we know um, well, kind of sort of what they are, what color they are, but anyway, so that was kind of fun. I thought they'd make good uh, bookmarks or little tiny smalls, um, and they're all surged. Almost everything is surged, so anyway. That was a goodie. We got, I got, uh, you know, things did vary, but, um, you know, people got different patterns and different things. But one of the things I got was a little Valdani uh, thimble. <laughs> anyway, a Valdani, uh, it says 10 color little thread. Of course, I think Dina showed we got our shirt. Haven't even unfolded it, but isn't that great? From the retreat. Great. Really cute cross-stitched state of Indiana there. Okay, I'm just going to, oh, we got a nice cup. My straw's not in there, but I, there it is. Fancy works. 
got this great Oort bottle and it had some goodies in it, some DMC floss, some toothpicks. It's cute, a little orange. My friend made uh, sure I got an orange one because uh, it's San Francisco Giants. So I thought that was appropriate. Oh, and I bought this too. Another needle minder, a little birdie in a birdhouse. So cute. Okay. Oh. Well, we got one of these corner things. They had them made for the shop, I guess. So you can measure down from the corner of your fabric so you can start one, two, or three inches from the corner. That was a good tool. Oh, here, I'm gonna put on my, my retreat lanyard. And we got some, a um, couple of, I don't even, there's not a label on this one, so I don't know what that orange one is. But this one is, Number eight braid zero zero seven. Good purple color. And look at this bag. And this is just stuff that I thought you might not have seen. <laughs> there also was a table where um, you could bring stuff you want to give away. And I, you know, I'm a hoarder. Bonna, me and you, we're hoarders. <laughs> All my stuff is kind of yours is organized. Um, so I didn't bring anything, but I, I took some things. Also, at Fancy Works, the store, I found their bargain bin. <laughs> so some of this stuff is from both of those places, but a lot of it, I'll tell you what we were given. Um, this was a freebie left for us. Isn't that the cutest thing? Cute, cute, cute. This was a freebie. This was a freebie. Is that not the cutest thing? Oh, I love it. I love her. The birds. Reminds me of, um, is it Home Alone? Where he runs into the park and there's that pigeon lady and she's got birds all over her. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, cute. And this was my raffle prize. This Cute again, so appropriate with the birds. Bird cage kit. Isn't that cute? And this, I think I may have taken this off the freebie table. I'm not sure. I, I got this off the freebie table. Too. Nope, I'm lying. I got that at Fancy Works. I, look at those deer. Look at those antlers. <laughs> gotta have it, gotta have it. And this also was at Fancy Works bargain bin. See that? 50 cents. That'd be a cute Christmas door hanger. Not this cute. I thought of uh, Michelle, the um, farm girl. Looks like a rocking horse, her rocking goat. That's cute. Prairie schooler. And this was from the bargain basement, also. The bargain bin. That's cute. This also, I'm sure, yeah. Bin. This was in the bargain bin. Let's look at the birdhouses. Cute bunnies. Cute bunnies. Look at that one. Look at that one right there. Every birdie needs a home. Oh, so cute. This. This, I think, was on the freebie table. It's actually done, so I just have to FFO it. Look, I have a finish. <laughs> uh, this, too. I think this was on the freebie. Freebie table. Snowman. 
Oh, this was this was given to us. This was given to us. Oh, that was pretty neat. Okay, and then I can't show you because they're patterns, but these are all freebie patterns. Just various patterns, but there's no pictures in there. They're just patterns they gave us. Okay. This was a freebie. And I can't show you this one, but it's a Rosewood Manor. It is called... It's 2017. So it's... it's um, it's called Mini Chart from Rosewood Manor. It's called My Sunshine. So it's, you know, it's small. It's it's simple, but still, she, Karen Kaluba, Kaluba, you know, gave um, fancy works, one for everybody. Uh, this, too, was given to us. This was on the freebie table. This was given to us. I mean, how generous. Blend in place gave a patterns for them to share with us. Sorry. There. Can you see that? There you go. That was pretty. All those autumn leaves. Very pretty. And... Can't remember. This might have been on the freebie table. I can't remember. If you might have gotten it. I didn't keep things separated. This was on the freebie table. I always like to have uh, books with alphabets and lettering, and you just never know when you're going to need to create something. There's another one. Little motifs. Oh, this was a nice magazine. It not quickly seeing the date, but embroidery and cross stitch. And there was, uh, we had um, from Satin Stitches, Hardanger by Donna Olson. We, there was a lot. Everybody got one of these. And I got, um, somebody had didn't want theirs. I got, uh, I didn't bring it, uh, crosses out of Hardanger. So that was nice that Donna Olson provided one for everybody. I think this, I think I picked this up off, off the freebie uh, table. <laughs> I thought that was cute. <laughs> and it was the freebie table. This too. Um, stained glass ornaments. I thought this would be good for my Saturday. <laughs> Saturday Christmas stitching for the rest of my life. This was off the freebie table. A little needle book. Cute. Now this, okay, Annette. Annette Akers, who was not coming to California anymore, so we had one chance and met with Annette. <laughs> but Annette, if you want this, let me know, because I picked it up for you. So it's penguins. And there's more. So let me know, Annette. I'll ship it to you. Lots of penguins. Then I got a Halloween, um, just cross stitch, 2013. I think it was on the freebie table. Pretty sure. This was cute. Shepherd's Cottage by Elizabeth Designs. Garden, Elizabeth Designs. There's 
dope. So these are cute, more uh, Christmas. Little mini ones. Oh, good work. Yeah, actually, I think these are on plastic canvas, so I'm all set for that. Got lots of plastic canvas. And then this was their lavender and lace. Um, I, I, I can't imagine these pictures are doing it justice because the pictures aren't very good. But I, I haven't done a lavender and lace. I've picked them up and given them away, but I thought, hmm, I might do a flower. And this, I picked it up. Um, just because Dina is doing it and it's turning out so pretty. I don't know if I'll ever do it, but it's on the freebie table. I might do it, so I picked it up. And this is on the freebie table, I'm pretty sure. More little Christmas minis. Okay, here's one. Roll. Santa, heart and hand. I mean, when you see 25 cents on this stuff, you just, <laughs> I just can't pass it up. And I thought this was cute. Look at this little tiny sampler. That neat little church. Oh, that is adorable. And then this was there. It's just the pattern. It was Mill Hill kit. That was cute. Here's another sampler. The Shaker Tree Sampler. I don't know. Oh, maybe that's just what it's called. The Shaker Tree Sampler by Bright Needle Charted Design. And this one, I'm pretty sure, was on the freebie table. And we are coming to the bottom of my pile here. These I got at um, Fancy Works. And that was kind of neat for a coffee-themed one. And then, last but not least, you know, I've got my uh, crazy cat lady friend. <laughs> oh, this, this is pretty cute. I actually have, I don't think I've ever shown you, but I have one of these Calico Crossroad cat, kind of black and white um, pieces that I actually have started. I've, it's been a long time. I'll have to pull it out one of these times. But I thought that was really cute. So, I guess that's it. Where, how long, oh my gosh, it's almost been an hour. <laughs> And then I'm going to add in pictures at the end. So I just, again, if you've hung in with me for this long, thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but I appreciate if you spent the time with me. I know there are even so many more floss tubers. There's some wonderful ones. Um, and there's all the great ones that have been making them for a long time. So if you've stuck with me through this hour, through all this free stuff, all the stitching, all the fun, all the retreat talk. I sure appreciate it. I was, you know, I was thrilled. I just want to shout out to Ruth and Norma and Angie and Mary. We just had a great table and Terry, of course, and to hang out with Vanna and Dina and Janet and Suzanne and Diane and Diana. <laughs> there was just so many. We just had a great time. If you get the opportunity, go. It's it's so worth it. So so much fun. So anyway, here's some pictures and happy May, happy stitching, and I hope to come back sooner. I hope to come back and show you a finished Cardinals on a sled. That's what I hope to do. So oh, one more, two more things. Sorry. I meant to show you my knitting. Tina, I know I haven't been posting much, but I do have, I almost have a sock. Look at that, <laughs> one sock. And I have another finish. I'm not even going to be able to show you. Ugh! I have to edit that. But I finished my big, we've had a cool day here and there, so I've been able to finish my Snowberries Crochet Sampler, or Sampler, <laughs> Afghan. There we go. 
looks really warm and cozy. This Burnett blanket yarn. So that's it. Happy May. Happy stitching. See you later. Bye.